thank your you. work on the bipartisan group. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Ranking Member Blunt, for having uh, scheduling this business meeting to consider a bill that I am proud, as a Republican, to have worked on and is important, I think, to strengthen our process. And I think the manager's amendment strengthens it as well. I would note that in the process that we went through with Senator Warner and certainly under the leadership of Senators Collins and Senator Manchin, um, we took our time on this to the frustration of a lot of people. There was a restlessness to say, are you going to do anything? Are you not going to do anything? Are you going to go far enough? Are you going to go, are you going to go too narrow? And I think we, at one point we were at five points. Now we're down to what? One and a half of those five is what this bill uh, consists on. So uh, we crafted it with, a, uh, with common sense solutions to a, re a problem. Members of Congress on both sides, as Senator Cruz pointed out, have sought to use the Electoral co uh, College certification process to overturn the results of elections that they may not like. So I've long championed our decentralized electoral systems. That's what we have which gives states the powers to design and enforce their election laws to meet the needs of their constituents. Can't, we can't vote the same way you do in Texas and West Virginia, I don't think, and we shouldn't. Because of this, I do not believe that members of Congress should, lawfully, should overturn lawfully, and I say lawfully, cast votes. This is why I proudly joined the working group and strongly support our bipartisan legislation, the Electoral Count Reform and President Transition Improvement Act is a result of months of careful de deliberation and debate. Our group welcomed all kinds of input from legal experts, from this committee, from individuals, from constitutional uh, scholars, from all different types of political leanings. And based on that information, we, we came up with this bill. From the beginning, it was clear if we were ever going to get bipartisan support, we had to draft a very narrow bill, as, as the leader has said. And I understand that this legislation may not encompass all or may encompass maybe too much, but let me be clear, it is very carefully and narrowly crafted. So I would urge my colleagues and, and my counterparts in the House to look at this business seriously. It's meaningful, it's tailored, it clarifies the certification process. And I will continue to push for the passage of this legislation. Thank you, Madam Chair. Very good. Thank you, Senator Capito. Uh, Senator Padilla, former Secretary of State, thank you for being here.